Hello from SeaWorld. It's been years since I've been here. It's probably been like a decade since yeah. I've been to SeaWorld, so I'm very excited. Been. But um, it's a few days after opening, so we're not here like day one reopening or anything. Giving it a few days, but I'm curious to see how they're handling distancing and mask wearing. So pretty similar universal masks are required. They're distancing throughout the park. So I'm just excited to be here because I think every single ride in this park is new to me. Because Manta was brand new the last time I was here and I never rode it. Um, I know a bunch of rides are under refurbishment, so I don't know how much we're going to get done today, but I'm just excited to walk through here. Yeah. It's going to be like a brand new park to me. I have like very little memory of it. So, <laughs> going to get through the park. We already got through the temperature check and the security, but right off of the entrance, so that shouldn't take long. It was a pretty easy process. There was a long line, but it kept moving the whole time to get your temperature check. Yeah. So now we're going to head in. I'm just excited to finally do that. You can't see under my mask, <laughs> I'm smiling. Really. Yeah, so they actually had a really good promotion for annual passes, so we now have annual passes to SeaWorld and Busch Gardens. Yeah. So hopefully we can film there more often, but I'm going to head in now. We are in the park. The front entrance was a little hectic, but we got in. Seems like a lot of people are a little confused since SeaWorld is the first park that is requiring reservations, so you have to have your reservation barcode as well as your ticket barcode. So I think that's what was holding up the line a bit. We had ours in our hand ready to go and it took us seconds to get in. So just make sure if you are coming, be where you need your ticket and your reservation and you'll get through really fast. So here's Manta, which I've never been on. Amanda was on it before. It looks incredible. So I'm hoping to get on a roller coaster today. But I think we're gonna try to eat first. So I don't know where we're gonna go, but that is, the first step of the day. So we are passing Journey to Atlantis, which is currently under refurbishment. I think we're gonna try Expedition Cafe, because Antarctica did not exist the last time either of us were at SeaWorld. So this is where they have the new Penguin trackless ride, which is not new, it's like seven years old, but new to me, which is also currently under refurbishment. But they do have the Penguin Encounter that you can go in and still see the Penguin, so maybe we'll do that. But I think we're gonna eat here. And this is awesome, they never really had like crazy themed lands like this before. So I am very impressed. This is cool. It's like 90 degrees out, so it doesn't feel like there should be snow, but it looks awesome. All right, so we just got our food at Exhibition Cafe, which is more like a cafeteria style place, kind of like the land in Epcot, where you go up to the counter to pick out your food. So they had an Asian station where I got teriyaki chicken with rice, and there was also a station for Italian, and then this is some chicken fingers with waffles and waffle fries. So all different types of food options in there, and we'll see how it is. So this park is starting to seem somewhat familiar, but it's also been so long, so I don't really remember much. But we're down here by the waterfront right next to Spice Mill, which is right here. I don't know if this was here before or not, but we just <laughs> ate lunch. It's like, like, it's like vaguely familiar. familiar, I don't know, but I thought lunch was pretty good. Um, the Asian food was good. The chicken was decent. Um, yeah, it, was, it, just, it reminded me of Panda Express. Kind of. Yeah, definitely. So I mean, it, it, I would definitely try a different place the next time we're here. Yeah. But I would, I would go back there. So back there is um, Bayside Stadium. I know that. And there's the Icebreaker Construction. So that's the new roller coaster that was scheduled to open pretty soon. But obviously with the closure, I imagine it's a little delayed. But the track does look complete. So that's exciting. It's got a little spike on the left side right there that you can see. So the track is finished. I think that's supposed to be more of a family coaster, but still a launch coaster. So it'll still be a little thrilling. And I see Mako over to the left. So that was not there the last time I was here. But yeah, there's a nice little pan of the park. So we got the tower right here, which is closed right now. I imagine that ride's a little hard to distance on, so that's probably why. And then right back there is Sea Lion Stadium. Um, I think that's what it's called. <laughs> and that's where they have the Sea Lion High Show. And so yeah, that's kind of like where we are in the park. We were, we just came directly here from Antarctica and I think we're gonna head back towards Infinity Falls maybe. All right, so we have entered Shark Reef maybe? This seems familiar to me. Oh, this is, this was that. not. I remember that area. I do kind of remember that, but this whole area did not exist last time I was here because Mako was definitely not here. So this is their newest roller coaster until uh, Icebreaker opens. And Icebreaker's over by Wild Arctic, so we saw that across the water. Mako looks incredible. I really want to ride it. I don't know what the wait time is. I know Manta was 70 or so, 60 when we went by, but they are running the roller coasters at very low capacity. They're doing every other row, and they are sanitizing. So that definitely makes it go a little slower. But this looks so fun. So I'm hoping this is a reasonable enough wait that we could get on at least one of these later. I don't know where the entrance is to see the, the line, but... Probably the 
Yeah, so that's what I'm curious to see. Here's the entrance to Mako. It says the wait's 35, but it's like outside of the queue. So it must be backed up or something, but maybe we'll be able to get on this later. All right, so we have left the shark area and we are now at Infinity Falls, which I believe, this is the newest ride at SeaWorld. It's the Rapids and it looks very cool. There is intense music. I'm gonna try to find a spot where we can see it, but I'm trying to also distance myself from people. So we're gonna go up around here maybe. Although this looks like the line for the ride maybe. All the lines do appear to be like a bit out of the queue, but I imagine that's because the lines themselves are distanced. So I think they probably look longer than they really are. So we're gonna go over here and see if we can see it. So this looks incredible. This is the only rapid ride that I know of that has a vertical lift. They almost go on like a little elevator to come down this big drop here at the end. You can also see how empty the rafts are. There's only three people on that. So when you see that the wait times are a little long, a huge part of that consideration is that they're running at very low capacity. So here it comes. And they get what? That was a lot of water. I definitely want to go on this at some point. It is more than hot enough. We'll see if we have time today. All right, so we're over here at Pacific Point with all the future graduates of Sea Lion High. There are so many sea lions here. There's definitely a bunch of little baby sea lions as well. Just swimming around. It's got a little overcast. It's not as hot out, but it hasn't rained at all yet. But I also wanted to point out, which we actually just watched the Sea Lion High show, which I didn't film, but I'll film that in a future visit to SeaWorld. I wanted to show that they are completely sanitizing, spraying down every bench with sanitizing cleaner between every show. So that's really important. And they also did distance us by row. So they had us all sit down. Yeah, so they had us all seated after the show and they told us when our individual row could get up to keep people distanced. So they did a really good job with dismissing the show and they are cleaning as well. So we have made it into Sesame Street, which is Sesame Street Land, which this used to be Sh Shamu's Happy Harbor the last time I was here. And right there they got Big Bird. So they were doing a distance meet and greet. So it looks like you have to stand six feet in front of him. And then he's back in his nest area. So they are doing meet and greets. They're just making sure that you're not, so yeah, then I'm making sure that you're not too close to him. So he's back behind his nest. You stand in front. And it's a great way to allow them to still do meet and greets, even from a distance. Now, it does look like a lot of the rides in Sesame Street are under refurbishment. It looks like almost Choo Choo Train is open, but most of the other rides in the background are not. And, yeah, I mean, they do have the food places open. It does look like Oscars, or not Oscars, um, I forget the name of that roller coaster back there. But the Boxcar Derby is open. Everything else appears like it may not be, but definitely still some people back here just for meet and greets, and the stores are open, so... Pretty cool to see this. I mean, I've, this wasn't here back when I was here. It definitely wasn't when I was. And right here is 123 Sesame bird. Street. We got to something big where he's huge. Oh, the, the ride over there is running, the Flower Tower. So they do have some rides going, which is exciting. And it looks like they got all the little interactive windows throughout the well, land. Just do not knock on fan, and I want to. Does Oscar come out? I think it's all interactive. I just wonder if they've turned it off right now to encourage people to not touch stuff, but I don't know. That is a good question, but this is really cool back here. This is awesome. This whole park has changed since last time I was here, so I'm impressed. All right, so we're in the store here in Sesame Street Land, and it does look like they've distanced the store pretty well. There's a lot of room to walk around here. Got all different kinds of stuff. I don't know if any of this is new merchandise or not because we've never been here, so if you've been here recently, you might know if this is new or not. Pins back here, because I know SeaWorld began their pin trading about two years ago, so they got some starter lanyards as well as some individual pins. And we see that over at Disney Universal as well. All kinds of toys. Looks like some spirit jerseys for kids and outfits. I have read about these interactive bubble wands, so they're like your typical bubble wand, but they interact throughout the land as well. So it says if you tap it throughout the land, when you see a symbol, which is this little star symbol, they unlock the prizes. So that's pretty cool. Lots of generic stuff, little street signs for your different names. And then this looks like some more like adult merchandise, some adult shirts back here. So if you're a Sesame Street fan and you're an adult, 
they have not forgotten about you. And honestly, some of these shirts are really cool. That is it for today's trip out to SeaWorld. So it has been raining for a while, so the coasters weren't running, unfortunately, and a lot of the rides were under refurbishment. But I mean, today, right now, is probably the time to get those refurbishments done while the crowds are limited and pretty low for the most part. I mean, there were definitely some people that were not wearing masks, so we were reading a lot of that online, but it was honestly a lot better than I expected it to be because I was reading some pretty bad stuff online. Yeah. And I didn't really think it was that but bad. I did see a lot of people getting called out for it. Oh, definitely. The team members seem to be, or the ambassadors here, seem to be pretty on top of it. Yeah. Based on, like, a lot of people were saying they weren't. And we did see people get yelled at. They well, called like, somebody out in the middle of the show. Well, even before the show, we, we were waiting for it to start. I was just, like, zoning out, watching people walking in. And they had a guy standing out there. And if they weren't wearing the mask, he, like, told them to put the mask on. That's good. And they did a really good job letting us out of the stadium and then yeah. sanitizing it. So they do seem like, I mean, of course it's going to be a learning curve. You this is to new to everyone. You have patient too, like, if once you're leaving, like, if you don't have patience, like, learn to have patience. Yeah. <laughs> because it it's definitely for your safety. They're doing it for everyone's safety. And it's very early on. I mean, this is still within the first week they're open. So I'm sure every time we come, it's going to be better. I don't know if we're going to be back for the next, like, two or three weeks or so. So I'm sure by the next time we come, they're going to have it figured out far but better. I do feel like in the show, since they're incorporating, like, kind of like jokes about like social distancing, distancing and stuff like it might like remind people like once they leave the show that like that's what they have to do by calling the guy out during the show i think it made everybody who may have had their mask not on properly yeah. think about it <laughs> so i'm glad they're doing that and they're definitely they play the announcement throughout the entire park um which universal does yeah. not do um, Universal definitely had plenty of distancing going on. Yep, this is the exact announcement, and they have it going on all the time, which is a good reminder for people. So overall, I was pretty impressed. I don't, I didn't, I did not feel unsafe here, but I'm sure it'll get better every time I come. It has been raining, so we didn't get to go on any roller coasters, unfortunately. I know. I really wanted to, but yeah, me too. now that we have passes, we'll be back. So I'm sure maybe the next time we're here, we'll be able to get on a roller coaster or two. Yeah. And I'm really excited for those, but. Now we can come whenever we want, so we will definitely be back and have a lot of more SeaWorld content coming. I know we didn't get to show too much today, but we're just kind of coming to check out the park, get familiar with it, and there will be more to come. But um, so yeah, that is it for today's video. So if you like this and want to see future SeaWorld content, Busch Gardens, Disney Universal, all that fun stuff, we will be at the mall. So definitely subscribe to our channel. Give this video a like and let us know if there's any specific rides or any questions you have. And we can definitely point that out the next time we come or for Universal or any of the other, any of the other parks that are open. Mm -hmm. so that is it for today. So okay. thanks for watching and we will see you guys the next time we go to Disney and beyond. <laughs> Almost at SeaWorld. <laughs>